What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk to you about the spot price of silver jumping to above $17.50. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive precious metal content. Got a brand new video dropping in about an hour. Link in the description. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, we got t-shirts and hoodies, a bunch of gear that's raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, and of course the brand new DYDSS in-frame t-shirt, hoodie, and sticker. Any and all merch can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today I wanted to talk about the spot price of silver. It's important to remember that it's Sunday as I am filming the video, and it's going to be Sunday as I'm posting the video, so come... Monday, spot price is going to begin to fluctuate again. It's going to go up, it's going to go down, maybe it'll stay about the same. We'll find out tomorrow. But this is something that I want to talk about today because I noticed that the spot price was above $17.50, only by a penny, seventeen fifty one as I am filming the video. Now, the reason that I'm talking about this is because I like to talk about when spot price does something borderline significant if you want to say that 1751 is significant. I like talking about when it goes above 1750 or below $17, below $1650, whatever the case may be. I like talking about when spot price does things like this. And just like a week or two ago, I posted a video talking about whether or not I would convert my dollars into silver at seventeen fifty, and in the video, I mean, you can go and watch the video for yourself to find out exactly what I said, but I believe anything below $20 is an opportunity. That's just my opinion. That's from my perspective. You don't have to agree with me, but I wanted to talk about this, and I wanted you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, what do you think spot price is going to do next? And also, if you can tell me the date and the time that you are watching the video and the current spot price, the reason I say this is because... There's going to be people watching this video a couple days after I post it, a couple weeks after I post it, who knows, maybe even a couple months, a couple years after I post it. So whatever the current spot price is for you as you are watching the video, you can head on down to the comments and let me know exactly what that is. I would really appreciate that. I like seeing you know, spot price bounce up and down. But one thing I did want to talk about is that even though 1750, 1751 is, I guess you can view it as somewhat a little bit more on the, the pricey end. You know, for the last year we were enjoying, you know, fourteen, fifteen dollar silver and you know, as of the last couple weeks or the last month or so, spot price has gone up over a dollar. It's gone up quite a bit from where it was sitting pretty stagnant for a while, if you think about it. I mean, when I first got started stacking, spot price was seventeen and change. I think it was like seventeen oh three or something like that when I first got started, the first time I converted my dollars into silver Second time around, it was maybe sixteen ninety something. Third time around, sixteen eighty something. And I remember saying to myself, I was like, "This is pretty cool. I can get more silver for a smaller dollar amount." <laughs> Seemingly, every time I hit up a coin shop or convert my dollars into silver online via online precious metal dealers website, if I'm placing an order, if I'm just picking a coin or a round or a bar up from a coin shop. Every time I do so, spot price just keeps going down. I was like, I hope it stays this way. I hope it, you know, remains, you know, on a little bit of a decline. I can stock up while the price is right. But at the end of the day, now that spot price is back up about 50 cents higher than what it was when I first got started stacking, the first time I ever picked up a piece of silver, the first piece of silver I ever had in my hands was 17 and change and now we're at 17.51 and who knows starting tomorrow starting the next few weeks who knows what spot price is going to do obviously none of us know so if anybody watching right now if you're a new stacker don't mind the people who say oh spot price is going to be this exact number by this exact date pay them no mind they're not a psychic they're no fortune teller. They're no precious metal expert, professional, or specialist. It's mere speculation. I don't know exactly what's to come, but I can tell you one thing. I hope spot price comes back down a little. I enjoy converting my dollars into silver in the $14, $15, $16 range. 
Now, as I said towards the beginning of the video, anything below $20, in my opinion, from my perspective, is an opportunity, and that wouldn't deter me from picking up any new pieces of silver. However, the lower the better. But within reason. When I say the lower the better, that doesn't necessarily mean that I would be overly thrilled with 8 or $9 an ounce silver, because what that would tell me is that we're probably going to be looking at probably 4 or 5 or $6 premiums on basic generic secondary market rounds or even like low premium government minted coins such as these three right here, the kangaroo, which, you know, you could pick that up for spot price plus maybe a $2 premium, the maple leaf close, closer to a dollar, dollar fifty premium, and then the American Eagle for dollar fifty to maybe two dollar premium, depending on where you get it. I mean, obviously, different online precious metal dealers and different coin shops are going to have different premiums. But if you get it from somebody who's going to charge you the smallest dollar amount, you're only going to be looking at maybe one or two dollars over spot for some of these coins right here, especially if you get them cull or tarnished or you know a little bit scratched up or whatever the case may be. In my personal opinion. If spot price were to drop, you know, below 12 below $11, we'd probably be looking at, you know, 3 4 maybe even $5 premiums at that point. So I do believe that the $14, $15, $16 range is what I like to call the sweet spot. You can agree with me on that. You can disagree with me on that. In fact, head on down to the comments and let me know what your thoughts are regarding what I just said right there. Do you agree that, you know, maybe 13 to 17, let's just say, give or take, is probably the sweet spot? Do you agree that anything below those dollar amounts, we'd probably be looking at some pretty hefty premiums, and obviously anything above that, you're getting to, you know, closer to the $20 range, and anything above that is, you know, I don't know how I would feel about $20 an ounce silver. I mean, I would be very, very, very excited about it, in the future. But right now, I, you know, before silver starts doing anything drastic, before silver, you know, skyrockets or anything like that, come on, let me get a couple thousand ounces. Let me get a couple tens of thousands of ounces, if possible, before we see, you know, drastic spot price increases. But you guys can feel free to head on down to the comments and let me know what you think. What are your thoughts on Spot price of silver being above seventeen fifty right now, seventeen fifty one to be exact. Are you on board with it? Do you enjoy the fact that spot price could potentially be going up and up and up, or do you think maybe it'll come back down? You got your fingers crossed like I do, hoping it comes back down, or at the very least stays where it's at. I really don't want silver to go up much more at all because I'm trying to get as much as I can in the shortest period of time, and I plan on doing it for the long term, but I want to stack as aggressively as possible. Let me know in the comments anything regarding the spot price right now, and if you guys enjoy the video, please hit the like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe for new videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also, make sure to subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive Precious Metal Content just posted three new silver and gold themed vlog style videos, a hidden camera pawn shop integrity test, a product review, and tonight, in about an hour or two, the video is already premiering on my second channel. It's called Getting Rich in Monopoly, and no, it is not a board game review. Check it out. Link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. We got t-shirts and hoodies, a bunch of gear that's raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, and of course the brand new DYDSS in-frame t-shirt, hoodie, and sticker. Any and all merch can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And don't forget, all merchandise, everything in the store is 15% off for only a few more days. So help support the channel at a discounted price. While you can, first link in the description. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on the spot price right now? Do you want it to continue to go up? Do you hope it comes back down? Do you have your fingers crossed? Do you like 
the spot price right now, seventeen fifty or in the seventeen dollar range. What are your thoughts, and what do you hope spot price of silver does next? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow, and remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.